Undo DP is the first reversible debugger fast enough and with memory consumption low enough to be used on complex code. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you an example debugging session with Undo DB. Reverse capabilities, such as the ability to step back and reverse watch points, will be used. We will be using Eclipse for this demonstration, though Undo DB also works with other GDB frontends, such as DDD and Emacs, or can be used from the command line, as with raw GDB. To demonstrate Undo DB, we needed a simple program that contained a non obvious bug. To do this, we have sacrificed plausibility. Our program caches previously calculated square roots. Though you would never write a program like this in reality, it is useful for the purpose of this demonstration. Our program contains an array of very simple structures with two elements, one for a value and one for the square root of that value. The function of interest is called cache calculate. This iterates over the cache, looking for a match of the value and on finding it, returns the appropriate square root. On a cache miss, the square root is calculated and our cache updated, along with two adjacent values, on the assumption that there is some locality of reference. Our main function is really just a unit test for the cached calculate function. It simply loops forever, calling cached calculate with a random value, and ensures that cache calculate returns the square root of the value requested. Let's run the program in UndoDB. Our program immediately hits a bug. Here we can see from the call trace that we've hit an assertion. Exactly as with regular debugging, we can look up the call stack, popping up the stack frames to see where we've come from. Unlike with regular debugging, we can uncall to go to function's call site. This feature unwinds the entire program state, including any global variables, and would not be possible with forward-only debugging. Perhaps clearer to show you by stepping back a few lines. Here we can see that the square root is not equal to check. That is, Cache calculate has been passed a value of 255 and has returned 0. 0 is not the square root of 255. By stepping back into cache calculate, we can see that cache contains invalid data. Here we can see that the 90th element of the cache, i is 90, has returned a square root which appears to be wrong. We can look into more detail here. And indeed, we see that the 90th element of the cache says that the square root of 255 is zero. At this point, we know what has gone wrong. Our cache contains invalid data. To fix the bug, we need to find out where that happened. With UndoDB, this is simple as we can set a watch point on that element of the cache and run back directly to the place where the cache was corrupted. Right before the cache was corrupted, the 90th element of the cache contains the value 40 with its square root 6. By stepping forwards just a couple of lines, we can see the cache becoming corrupted. Our cache is being assigned to the value of 2. The variable value 2 contains minus 1. We can see here that the program has tried to take the square root of minus 1, which is an invalid thing to do, and has therefore written garbage into our cache. The next question is why is the value minus 1? By setting a watch point on value 2, we can run back to see how it became that unexpected value. So here's the point where value 2 is initialized, and we can step over that and see it being initialized to minus 1. And we can see here 
because it's being initialized in this for loop to value less one. And value we can see is zero. So what's happened is the cache calculate has been called with a value of zero and tried to populate the cache with two adjacent values. And zero minus one is an invalid value to try to put in the cache. Just to be sure, let's uncall. And we can confirm that at the call site we're passing value of zero. As this is a relatively simple program, it could have been debugged using other techniques, for example, by placing assertions. However, real-world programs are rarely that simple. UndoDB's reverse capabilities, such as stepping back and setting reverse watch points, as well as its performance, significantly reduces debugging time and enables you to quickly respond to critical bugs in a fraction of the time taken by GDB.